Hey YouTube, y'all know what time it is. Chapstick time. As always, as if I didn't know I was gonna do a video and as if I didn't know my lips were dry. I'm gonna show you some things. I just have one skincare today. So this is me and all of my trollness. I brought out of my restroom my, <laughs> my personal care caddy. This is a carryover idea from when I was in college where we had to go down the hall and use the restroom. So you, we had caddies, just put all your stuff and take it with you. And I still do this because I can just pull it out from under the sink, use what I need to use, put it back under the sink. And so there's not, you know, a lot of things sitting out. But I brought this out because there's some things I want to show you. Actually, you guys want to see everything that's in there, don't you? Yeah, you do. So I'm going to show you, which is <laughs> not what I was going to do with this video. And so I will probably do another video after this one with what I was going to do. So <laughs> I'm gonna, everything that's in here, I'm going to take it out and show you one by one. <clears throat> this is my newest purchase. <laughs> this is the Skin Camp Under Eye Massager. I find that I do not like it for rubbing in my eye creams or my serums because of how the product goes around the ball and then if it's not evenly coated it may skip or drag or pull my skin and so there's just random times like during the day i'll just take it and just roll it around and it feels really good because it's cold and also i noticed that you have to have it straight on that spot if you go sideways it may pull or catch on your skin, which does not feel good. So you just have to be sure to just keep it straight. Wherever you're putting it, just keep it straight. I do wish it protruded a little bit more because then I believe it would eliminate it catching if you're going sideways. But this feels really good. It really does. <laughs> so just random times, as I said, throughout the day, if I'm just sitting around or something, I'll be like, oh, let me just rub this under my eyes. Usually in the morning, not every morning like I should, but um, when I first get up, I'll just run it under my eyes and then I'll put on my eye creams and serums. So that's one thing that's in here. <clears throat> I have my multi-purpose contact lens solution, my contact lenses, <laughs> my toothbrush, <laughs> toothpaste. It's going to be so much stuff here. I have um, Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta pills, and I just keep a few in here instead of keeping the whole container out. When I purchased something from Sephora <clears throat> as an option, they had the extra strength one, and so I got this one, and then I purchased something else and got another one. The, the extra strength ones, my skin does not tolerate well, and even the regular ones... I, I only use them every other day when I do use them. I'm not as regular as I used to be because every day these irritated my skin. So every other day I would use those. I have hydrocortisone cream because of my eczema <laughs> around my nose and sometimes the creases of my ear. <laughs> and so that stays in here. And I'm laughing not because it's funny, but just because my skin is so temperamental. This, I hate the name of it. And it might be the kink person in me, but this is called Skin Tight. <laughs> Years ago when I used to get my hair braided, this was the only product that she said worked for her husband to not get razor bumps when he would shave. And it was also the only thing that worked for her son. And so when I go get my hair cut, excuse me. So when I go get my hair cut, I come home and wash my hair and then I put some on my hands and then I'll just, you know, run it along, you know, the back of my head and around my ears if he, well, because he does shape up like around my ears. And so, <laughs> that's why that's there. Deodorant, you have to. You just have to. You just have to. My <laughs> Flonase, nasal allergies, antihistamine eye drops, eye allergies. I'm telling you guys, I am a mess. Um, this is the Bashia Tsubaki Beauty Oil. I have one over here that I mixed with my foundation and primer for my face. This one I keep in my caddy because I use it for my hair. Yes, that sounded so weird. I have three different masks in here. The Peter Thomas Roth, 
what does it say irish moore mud mask i have this in here i have the peter thomas roth 24 k gold mask this one just makes my skin just feel so soft when i use it the irish moore one this one is like a detoxifier and it does say purifier refining decongesting hydrating blah 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 when i use this one it just my skin does feel smooth afterwards but my skin just feels like extra extra clean like whatever impurities were there they're gone and the third one in here what is this the third one is his pumpkin enzyme mask this one I use when I want to gently exfoliate and it does smell like pumpkin. And I'm not really a pumpkin spice person, but it smells really good. So this one I, I use when I feel like my skin just needs to be smoothed out. Like there's just things going on with my skin and I want to polish my skin. And it does says resurfacer. Enzy enzy Enzymic dermal resurfacer so this does just kind of smooth everything out even though it does not make my face feel as soft and supple as this one i don't think i would repurchase the 24k one because all it does is just make my skin feel really soft but it is really nice for pampering but if i need my skin to be um, purified and detoxed i use this one and if i need my skin to just be smoothed out and and resurfaced then i use the pumpkin one now for any one of those i forgot where i got this from <laughs> oh this is sephora collection on it this i use because i don't like getting my hands dirty with makeup or with masks either so i will <laughs> scoop some of the mask out and then just you know rub it all over we'll smooth it out over my face and i like that you can get you know in these little areas and in your crevices and creases and for i forget i think it might be the pumpkin one where you like kind of gently massage it in. And so I use this side because it is like a little comb, but it's soft though. And I'll gently just exfoliate with the mask on with the pumpkin one. So I really like that. This I purchased just to try it because it was like half off or something. The Peter Thomas Roth 24K Gold Pure Luxury Cleansing Butter. Pure 24K Gold helps skin look lifted, imparts an opulent glow, solid to oil texture, melts away makeup, dirt, impurities, chamomile butter and honey, deliver intense hydration, uh, castori, turmeric helps soothe. I have used this just to wash my face in general as just a first wash. And it does feel really nice. It doesn't lather up or anything. I have not tried it to remove my makeup i think it would work well for, well for that because of the texture of it and it smells nice i'm not really a fragrance person and so that was my concern with this but it smells nice um i don't have problems with it and so i will continue to use that let's get to the fun stuff not so much fun um <laughs> Olay Regenerous Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. Hydrating moisturizer, hydrating moisturizer with sunscreen zinc oxide broad spectrum SPF 30. So this is what I use when I go out, and I know they say you should wear sunscreen indoors anyway, but I don't. Tell me I am not the only one. This is the fun stuff for me. <laughs> Except for the price. Dr. Dennis Gross Ferolic Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. My under eye loves this. And I love this serum because not only can you go under your eye with it, you can do your entire lid from your lash line up to your brow bone. And a half a pump on one finger, mix it together, does cover this entire area so you do not need a lot of this which i'm glad because it's expensive but i love this stuff so i put this on day and night morning and night and right after i put that on i put on his ferolic retinol eye cream now this only goes underneath and if i do have excess i'll put some on my brow bone but this is not for your mobile lid this is for under here when i first started using this 
I noticed a difference in like a week, like with my bags and even my forever bags. The one, which one is it? I can't even tell. One of them I have two bags, like match, matching luggage. But this has helped. And because I, excuse me, and because I wanted to lock in this moisture, that's why I purchased the eye cream. And I love this as well. So that's the fun stuff. And more fun stuff is Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM Night Serum. This has retinol 1.5%. It also has vitamin C and E in it, and I use this just at night. My skin likes this. I have sensitive skin. I have temperamental skin. <laughs> I have allergies to different things. So when I find something that my skin likes, I tend to stick with it usually, <laughs> which is why I still use Olay. I've been using Olay since I was like in my 20s. I've just graduated through the different brands. First it was the regular one, then it was something else, and now I'm more so in the Regenerous line. I did try their Total Effects line, and my skin didn't like that too much. And also, Olay has fragrance-free stuff too, which for me is always a plus. So, but anyway, back to this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the crazy. I just rambled. I know I always do that. You know me. Those of you who have been here know me. And if this is your first time visiting, thank you for being here and tolerating the trollness and the madness of things that I say that sometimes may not make sense. But I really like this. I did not have a problem with my skin purging when I used this. I started out once every other night and then I started with every night and it works well. And it is a dropper. And I know they say, like, don't drag it across your face. And you're not supposed to touch the dropper to your face. But I'll just do a line here and a line here. And then I'll rub this side down and rub that under my chin. And this side I'll rub and then rub across my forehead. And so this side I'll come this way. This side I'll do up here until my whole face is covered. And then if it's still a little oily, then I just go through and make sure it's everywhere. I don't rub it under here because this is usually dry anyway especially in the winter because of my eczema wears red as I'm sure you can see the other thing in here this is Olay Regenerous Miracle Boost Concentrate Fragrance Free I saw this on the Olay site a while ago and they seem to always have a 20% off site wide sale and if you have the Ebates which is now Rakuten extension sometimes there's another 20% off with Ebates, well now Rakuten. But I purchased this and the first time I applied it, I was just like, oh my gosh, this feels so good. So I went online, purchased another one <laughs> and it was only like 20 something dollars. And since then it has been out of stock. And so what I did is I went on Amazon and purchased some more. This stuff, and I'm already down to like here. This stuff, it took me a, a, I love this, my skin loves this. It just, I don't know if it's making a difference, but it just, when I put it on, it just feels so good. I'm gonna show you how I apply it, which I shouldn't. It's really weird the way you open it because when you open it, it does have a pump and you just push the lid, you can't see. You push the lid and it dispenses it into your hand. When you put, when you put this back inside and you turn it, now watch the top part. It automatically closes. And so you don't have to manually do the pump like you do with something like this because it automatically fills it. Now this, I'm gonna show you how I use this. And then when you open it, the pump goes up and it fills up, I wanna say the syringe. But so I put it in one hand and this is what it looks like. And I go like this, oh, this, oh my gosh. And I get in my little creases. The first time I used this, I was just like, what is this stuff? It just feels so good on my skin. And then whatever is left on my hands, I just go under my chin because I have a partial double chin. It's like, it doesn't even go all the way across. It's like right here. But anyway, <laughs> ah, and it's gone. That's it. I love this stuff. And the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Serum, 20% vitamin C, 3% and vitamin E, which is, which is an antioxidant and 2% folic acid. This is expensive. 
My skin really likes it though. And so that's the thing. And I'm just like, Ugh. I only purchase <laughs> Peter stuff and Dennis's stuff when Sephora has a sale. Or if one of their websites has a sale for more than a 20% off I would get if I waited for Sephora. And also with Sephora, I can save up and use rewards points. I'm going to get back to this later, but this thing is hella expensive. Depending on if I use one of the alpha beta pills. And then I do the eye serum. I do the eye cream. I put um, the Olay Miracle Boost Serum on it. Put the vitamin C on, the ferulic acid. If I use the pill prior to all of that, I will then use as a moisturizer Dennis Gross's Stress Repair Face Cream. This does really soothe my skin. And it's a lot in here. And so I think it's two ounces. I looked at it earlier two ounces so it's a lot in here and it expires in a year so this expires in june and i'm only like halfway through it because i don't use it every night and so i'm not even sure if i would repurchase this again because it is expensive and then it's like it'll go to waste because if i did use it every night then maybe i would use it up in a year i don't know the other two things in here are both olay products if my face is feeling really dry at night i will use the Olay Regenerous Ultra Rich Hydrating Moisturizer, fragrance free. Their red, their red stuff are fragrance free, and it, it says on there, this stuff is so friggin' thick. I mean, when you scoop it, I mean, if I just run my finger in it, like hardly anything comes off. If I just tap it, I have to dig <laughs> to get this stuff off. I mean, this stuff is like cake icing. I was gonna say icing cake icing and so if my skin is really dry I will put this on here because this stuff is as it says ultra rich hydrating I should have showed you guys the um, textures of all the other things and I apologize for not doing that if my skin is not so dry it's feeling okay I use the Olay Regenerous Whip and this is also fragrance free. This one is whipped, is a very light consistency, just bouncing it, it does just come off. You don't have to scrape and dig. And let me find somewhere else to put this. And it is a very light moisturizer. And so just how with the face masks, I let my skin tell me what, what it needs. Do I just wanna be pampered? Does my skin need to be detoxed? Does it need to be resurfaced? That determines what mask I use. If my skin is super dry or it's not that dry, that determines what moisturizer I use. And so I'm going to, or if I use the, and if I use the beta, alpha beta pill, then I use the stress moisturizer to just de-stress and calm down my skin. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here and come back and do the video <laughs> that I intended to do. Let me know if you still use a caddy. And I also had one in the military too. Let me know if you use a caddy or how you organize and arrange your toiletries in your bathroom. And if you have or use any of these products, let me know what you think about them. Or if you tried them and didn't like them, let me know that too. All right, so thanks guys for watching and you will see me soon with what I intended to tell you in this video.